Hello and welcome to Force 13's forecast for the upcoming Northern Hemisphere cyclone seasons around the world. It's the first forecast that we put out, typically in the beginning of April, in the first days of the month. Uh, our next forecast after this, if there are any changes to make, will be at the end of May, on the eve of Atlantic hurricane season, on May 31st. So, in the Atlantic, we are expecting 14 tropical storms, 6 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes in 2020. The chances of it being a below average season are rather low, 17%. Near average is the highest at 44% and above average is at 22%. An above average season cannot be ruled out. And another caveat as well just to point out, that's only tropical storms. Subtropical is not counted in those numbers. Uh, so, we're looking at a 50% chance of major hurricane activity near the Leeward Islands and the Bahamas. So again, another season that will threaten these islands is looking likely. 50% chance of hurricane activity in the Western Caribbean and in particular the Yucatan Peninsula, uh, which is what we're looking at as well. Um, a 50% chance of a Category 5 anywhere in the basin. Now we've seen a lot of Category 5s recently. It's never particularly common in the Atlantic, to be honest. Uh, so it's not, not always a given that we will have that, but a 50% chance this year. A 30% chance of hurricane activity off the coast of Louisiana, the Gulf Coast, and into eastern Texas. Uh, that is the uh, likely hurricane hotspot that we will be seeing this year. So that's another area to look out for. Uh, the likelihood of hurricanes, we are looking at a strong possibility that hurricanes will persist through the Caribbean Sea from the eastern part of the sea right the way through possibly to the Yucatan, possibly into the Gulf of Mexico this year. Um, we're expecting typical activity for the uh, US East Coast between Florida and North Carolina. So we can't rule out hurricane impact, but we're not expecting anything more or less than what we would normally expect. And up towards the northeast, we are seeing the uh, possibility of hurricane activity, and even major hurricane activity could happen off the northeastern coast. So that's something to watch out for. We'll get into that a little bit more shortly. Uh, and also, we are looking at quite possibly some more uh, early recurvers. So hurricanes in the eastern part of the Atlantic recurving early, much like Lorenzo did last year and possibly reaching significant major hurricane status. On the floor again, you can see the uh, maps. This is what we're expecting in the United States this year, looking at tropical storm conditions. Now you can see the red zone is over on the right-hand side there, um, over in North Carolina. That's where we're expecting the uh, most probable chance of tropical storm conditions, um, followed by a few areas, particularly eastern Florida, um, also into South Carolina in particular as well, uh, over 50% chance there. Um, and also looking at Louisiana for potential impacts and uh, the central part of coastal Texas. So that's for tropical storm conditions, which, you know, a lot of areas get tropical storms. So let's look at hurricane chances. We are expecting a lot of clippers that will be affecting the outer banks of North Carolina. Um, so that is where the biggest risk is. The chances there are up to about 40% for the outer banks of North Carolina. In Florida, chances are pretty average there as well. That's the next most likely location. And then also we're looking at the coast of Mississippi heading in towards New Orleans and Alabama going the other way for the tertiary peak potential. Looking at major hurricane conditions once again as well, uh, you can see there even parts of the uh, eastern United States extending all the way up to New Jersey has a small chance of major hurricane impacts this year. Um, we can't really pin down any places in particular in the US for major hurricane impacts, which really tells us that most likely there won't be a major hurricane impact in the US, but if there was to be one, it would probably be in southern Texas near the border with Mexico. Looking at Mexico um, now as well, uh, you can see here the uh, western part of the coast has the highest chance of tropical storm conditions. Another little note as well, you can see Colima is particularly shaded in. 
Uh, that is because of the islands off the coast there as well. They're part of Kalima province, so it's not necessarily true that the mainland will be affected in that way. Uh, but elsewhere, you're looking at neighboring provinces. You're looking at the Yucatan Peninsula. In fact, the western Yucatan has a higher chance of storm conditions than the eastern part, which might be a bit of a surprise. Um, the western part of Mexico, Baja California Sur, that looks like a good chance of tropical storm conditions. Looking towards hurricane conditions, uh, we're expecting Veracruz to be one of the highest chances in the Atlantic, so some spin-up cyclones that occur, or some remnants that linger from the Yucatan Peninsula landfall into Veracruz, possibly re-intensifying into hurricanes. Um, on the western side, again, you're looking at coastal Mexico and the Baja California Peninsula. Usual suspects, really. And for major hurricane conditions, chances, again, are very low in a lot of these places, so we're not expecting, with a large amount of confidence, any significant impacts. But if it was to be anywhere, it would be in the Yucatan Peninsula and possibly in Sinaloa or Nayarit. So that is the main bulk of our analysis, our expectations over the coming year. They are just predictions, they can change and they can of course not be correct. But like with predictions that we've been doing for the last four or five years now, they've not been too far away from the mark and hopefully we will uh, see uh, a less amount of impact this year than what we've been seeing last year. But I wouldn't uh, put too much stock into that, it's looking likely that 2019 is actually a very good analogue for 2020, so it's more than likely that we'll probably see similar conditions to what we saw last year around the world.